Welcome back to the channel. There's gonna be tons of videos, tons of parts coming, tons of stuff for all the cars. And I wanna show you guys something that came in the mail today too. It actually just came, so we'll go show you that in a minute. Um, anyway, the Damon Short Throw Shifter is going to be given away at the end of this video, so make sure you stay tuned. And uh, let me go show you what I got, because I'm pretty pumped. Okay, so normally I wouldn't start a clip off of the train, but you guys haven't heard them in a while, and I want you guys to hear them. So, anyway, let me show you guys what came. This is my first ever Honda. You ready? Boom! It's my first ever Honda motor. I've never owned a Honda car, never been the biggest fan of them, to be honest. But this K24A2 right here, let me tell you, it's a good motor. I got this for a upcoming project. I haven't really said anything about it. I want you guys to actually go ahead in the comments right now, place a guess what you think this motor is gonna go in. I can tell you a few things about this motor. I, it's gonna be boosted for sure. That's why I went with the A2 because it has a little lower compression apparently and can handle a little more horses. Another thing I can tell you, this will obviously be in a rear wheel drive application. So hopefully that helps narrow it down in the fleet of cars I have. But um, anyway, I'm gonna go ahead, get all this cut off, get this thing on the engine hoist and then put it on a stand. And uh, maybe we'll tear it down a little bit today. I don't really know. I kinda wanna go over a few things. Since it's 2020 and I've only made one video and uh, I just kinda wanna give you guys an update on everything. So maybe we'll do that. But anyway, for now, let's get this thing on a stand. Also, I just wanna mention how tiny this thing is. Like, so here's one of my hands. It's like two and a half, or it's, yeah, two and a half of my hands. The Jay-Z is like one, two, three, almost four. So that's almost double the length of that, which is nuts. And to think, I'm gonna be making as much power with this as I am with that. Never been a Honda guy, but apparently Honda motors are the way to go. If you guys have ever imported a motor from Japan, the gas in it smells so good. Like it has to be over 100 octane or something because it smells like race gas and it smells incredible. I don't know why I wanted to mention that, but I, I was just, I'm not gonna lie, I was smelling it, it smells great. <laughs> don't smell gas at home, bad, bad idea. Okay, well this motor doesn't have hooks on it and it's gonna be a little difficult, so I'm actually using these plastic deals, so. There's nothing. Okay, stand thing is on, and uh, let's find out if these plastic clips are gonna hold up. I don't have high hopes. <sighs> this is a nightmare. Don't break. Slide you on. Come on. This is so sketchy. Look at these things, they're still holding up somehow. Boom, she is on the stand. Look at that, that was the most sketch thing I've ever done. I can't believe these actually held. Okay, motor is on the stand, looks sick. This motor is so small, I can't get over it. Um, and my first Honda motor, like I said, got it from JDM of California. Same place I actually got my 1JZ, they just sent stickers this time. Gotta slap that on the toolbox, but anyway, uh, so far they've been a great company. They get the product out quick, stuff like that. Haven't ran one of their motors, so we'll see, but anyway. Uh, Look at this little thing. My first Honda. Big moment in my life. Anyway guys, leave me a comment what you think this motor is going in and let's go carry on and do some other stuff. 30 minutes into me owning a Honda and it's already leaking. Kid me? One more thing I want to mention. The coolest part about this motor so far is the dipstick. I don't know why. I just think it's super cool and where it's at. Well, another package just arrived so uh, let's open this thing up. It is massive. <laughs> I'm pretty sure this is for the Z, so you guys are getting all sorts of teasers today. This is a pretty cool one. Here we go. You can probably guess what it is. Massive. All right, it's out of the box. You definitely probably have an idea what it is now. I'm gonna get all this bubble wrap off and then I'll show you guys and explain why I got this. Guys, here it is. So, it is a 2015 Nismo. Rear end bumper upgrades. So this is a 2011 Nismo 370. So I went with the 2015 Nismo rear end. And the main reason I did this is because I was gonna wide body the car, I'll be honest, but the kit's not available and it's gonna be too big of a problem finding wheels, especially this being a drift car. I don't want that to be an issue. So no wide body on this C, but who knows, maybe we'll wide body another one down the line. We'll see. But uh, anyway, I got this sick new bumper, super stoked. 
And if you guys saw in that last drift event video, I don't know if I mentioned, but the rear bumper flew off the car while I was drifting and it just scuffed everywhere. And it already was scuffed up really bad, so I figured it's time to replace it. So now I have the 2015 Nismo front with the 2015 Nismo rear, and it's gonna look great. So that's a sneak peek into some of the stuff coming, I guess, for 2020. We got lots of Z stuff, lots of 240, lots of speed stuff's coming. I'll explain speed stuff here in a little bit, and uh, this whole video is just a teaser. Here she is. I'm gonna pull around back so we can explain a couple of things going on with the speed in this video, keep you guys updated and informed on what's wrong with this car currently. By the way, that was not a cold start. I haven't been able to catch a good cold start on camera for the last couple of days, so I'll try and get one soon, guys. I'm sorry. I pulled this beast around back. Speed, a little rundown on it. So I still have the exhaust leak from the downpipe. I need to get that fixed soon. I saw the transfer case leak. Yeah, it's still leaky. Those two aren't really that big of a deal. I have some stuff from Cork Sport coming, but I guess they have a material delay, so I can't have those parts for a little while. I don't know what the deal is with me having to wait for parts, but it's really starting to irritate me. If I'm making you guys wait, I'm gonna go ahead and give away a few things that are coming for the speed. And uh, hopefully they come soon. They haven't even been made yet or shipped, to my knowledge. Up front, we're going to have a metal front splitter and it's going to be powder coated made of aluminum which is super cool i'm not going to go over what brand until i get it we're going to have aluminum side skirts powder coated black as well and then i still have yet to find a diffuser i want to go with so if anyone wants to make a recommendation on a diffuser that maybe i should go with um shoot a comment down below and maybe i'll pick that diffuser rear end i still got some dents i need to fix before we wrap this thing she's looking as good as she can for a salty snowy snowy winter that we're having right now so yeah front my intercooler is still holding up great i still need to take the front bumper off and uh fix a couple more things i need to put my horns back in but most importantly i need to put my wiper sprayers in because it is really difficult having no wiper sprayers i did take that for granted i didn't think i would have used them but they sure do come in handy that's a super quick update on the speed i'm actually going to be working on the 240 a little bit right now in this video um, this video is kind of all over the place, I apologize. So I got these cool carbon fiber plates. I think these are three mil plates, they're just solid carbon fiber, whole piece, pretty light. And um, instead of tubbing this, because I don't want to repaint the whole bay this year, maybe next year I'll tub it, I was just going to cut out this disgusting little area. So I made this piece of cardboard, this little cutout fits perfectly in there. And then I was going to take this piece, use this cardboard cutout, lay it on top, and then cut this with a Dremel or something. I think that's gonna look way better than having that. Okay, so first things first, just gonna grab my little cutout here, and then all I have to do is mark that line, and then we'll chop that. One more thing I wanna mention, I did uh, clay bar the roof, and it is butter. Like, look how good that paint looks. Woo Okay, got my line, gonna go ahead and bust out the Dremel. Throw on some safety glasses. Grab the Dremel here. Got some baller new cutoff wheels from Amazon, so hopefully these things just tear it up. Okay, and just like that, it's all cut. Okay, here we go, let's see how this looks. So I actually need to cut it a little more. Wow, that looks good. Let me know what you guys think of that. I think that actually looks incredible. And it's not bolted down or anything. It's just kind of chilling in there. I think it's a super nice touch for the for the engine bay, and it really cleans up all those ugly holes. Oh my gosh, that was a good move. That was a good move. Oh, I'm zoomed in. But by the way, guys, I don't know if I mentioned that this video is like a day after I'm finishing this video. So um, we are gonna give away the Damon short throw shifter plate. Um, but I already gave it away the day before, so I'm just gonna put the footage in now. Anyway, here's who won. Okay, so just to prove to you guys this is not rigged, I'm going to do this all in one step. So, here we go, we're gonna go to the video right here. We're gonna copy this. We're gonna go to YouTube Random Comment Picker. We're gonna paste the URL, boom. And we are going to get YouTube comments. 33 unique commenters. And uh, how do you pick this? Oh, here we go. Start. Let's see who won. Oh, Chris Timberlake. Yo, I'm just here for the giveaway. Well, guess what, Chris? You're here for the giveaway and you won the giveaway. So, um, 
shoot me a DM on Instagram, Austin B. Burner. We will figure out a way to get you this Damon Short Throw Shifter. I'm gonna start doing giveaways more often, so make sure you guys stay tuned. Um, like, comment, subscribe. Tons more giveaways coming soon. Follow me on Instagram, Austin B. Burner. Chris, congratulations. Hit me up on Instagram. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Peace out. Okay, so if you guys have made it this far into the video, after the video, um, I gave away a lot of teasers in this video. I know it was really confusing. It was confusing for me too because um, the next video that comes out after this one will kind of make sense on why this one's confusing. But anyway, uh, there's a lot of teasers in this video. Guess what motor that's going in. And uh, this was the after the video, after the video me. So, see ya. <laughs>